Okay, being a black folks, and basically uh, things are, you know, it's constantly being the talk since we've got new stuff they want to take away from. We know they've got the meatball out there. So anyway, Lita, Ohio 6, thanks for the video. She's got this on, uh, this one here. Since she's got standard, I just go ahead and uh, put it out. And here's the link up there. Take that off. Always remember to take care of your links to make sure that you try to, if you want to keep away from a little bit of corrupt with your computer, just go to the link there. So, uh, basically this, and then also let me go ahead and show you something else. I wanted to show you on ticker numbers that we always know, okay? So, check this out. And yes, uh, the truth is getting to be quite uh, interesting. A lot of views, okay? Fact or faked, okay? So, whatever people come up with, and I'm not advertising for them at all, but check this out. Because the idea, like, you know that mine is always truth bleeds, right? Okay, so... So it's getting to be a popular uh, slang, you know. People want to see and know the truth and so forth and so on. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and blow this up a little bit so that we know that this is YouTube. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, what we know to be the BS on the tickers. Because basically what they're doing is they are showing you there is so many, and it's just straight out we know that there was a guy that was caught with a bunch of, at least they say anyway, he makes somebody look bad, who knows. Who knows what he might have been pissing somebody off or something, and they throw f uh, who, who knows how many cats at his house. But then maybe he was a cat monger. Like, but anyway, there are tons of cats in this country, okay? Uh, lots of, I'm going to just basically, there's lots of people that like cats. I'm biting my tongue, but we know. Okay, so you know that they go there every day, cat of the day shot, okay? Cat of the day, and then there's maybe a name or whatever. And they keep the view ne ticker numbers down. See, and basically this is order of what is most viewed, okay? Now, violence is big, so we have this, and we also have this, okay, because, you know, lots of Michigan spring training and the first college has got probably a video out or something like that. So, anyway, that might be new, but anyway, it's the idea that what's been viewed so much today so far is usually what's here. Now, they're going to say, no, it's not true, whatever, I don't care, you can lie all you want. On the first page you go to, it's going to have the most most viewed of the day shots, whether they say that they're most viewed or not, okay, and as we say, violence, and then we have some political violence that they show a small number, because they don't want, they know people by go, by, okay, well, who's the most kids go, younger youth and any, even adults, what's the most viewed something today, okay, so this gives you an idea, forget the ticker numbers, you just go in order, okay, because pretty much that's what somebody at something wants you to look at, okay, and we know where we're at, where we're at. Okay, this is this is the same place, and I love to, you know, uh, that's where I got on here in right after the Fuka fudge up. So you see the ticker numbers, and you know that it's false, okay, because people like shocking stuff, okay, and I'm actually surprised that that's that's low, you know, it doesn't really matter. This is what gets viewed at, and more than likely, see, that stuff doesn't get numbered that high because they don't want you to watch that. Okay, they want it pushed to the back, so put a small number on the ticker. But it, no matter what, you see the order that these numbers, these things are coming up at. Pretty much, the order is what's most popular. And religious, religion's fine. I'm, re you know, I'm a very small amount of religion. I'm, a, I'm a Lutheran. Whatever. I don't want to get my church mad at me either. But the idea that I'm a Lutheran. Okay, so these numbers are false because when someone sees Amazing Grace, I love that song. Okay. And I also save a, wreck, a wretch like me, you know, because we're all sinners, okay? So anyway, and we know that this stuff's real popular, so there's something to do with that that someone probably doesn't really want young youth to see or something. So we see what's going on with the tickers and who's doing it. Why don't we get somebody to admit, or basically what's happened is certain agencies of this country have bought out both Facebook and this and who knows who else. And they're just going to keep buying out everything because free speech needs to be controlled. Okay, so let's control that free speech. So, anyway, the hot topic is hookers in Bum Bumville, or Hot Bunsville, uh, of age or not. And uh, be nice to know because you know that uh, when they're at home getting bitched out by, if they are married, if there anybody on those details were married, that they're, they're getting bitched out by their significant other. Okay. So it'd be really nice to know because you know that somebody with the black box is listening and you get your ass bitched out if any of this stuff is real about somebody attacking the U.S. Treasury because the secret agents of the United States of America, uh, we know what agency,
basically they are the protector of the U.S. Treasury notes. Okay, they make sure if you're a counterfeiting, they're going to come see you. Okay, and they also protect the United, the President, the Commander in Chief. Okay, and someone's throw, there's a ton of poop being thrown around, and the Supreme Court needs to get up off of. And like I say, these are all in order on views and so forth, and so I'm going to see what we got for Sechi shots. But just sharing a little bit of steam because the idea that everything is getting propaganded, okay? Everything is getting propaganded by numbers and pushing to the back and the truth and the facts and rumors just to have average, to have spin, to have political spin rumors. Or who knows? Maybe they actually did fool around. Of age, who knows what? Uh, everybody that's on any security or anything like that knows that they get watched too. So why would somebody screw around with a prostitute? Because the idea that they know that they're getting watched on what they do, too. Because nobody's got anybody's back in the world, anywhere, ever. Because no matter what, we all know that some, some something got pulled. Because the idea that every secret agent out there knows that there's somewhere else, there's an agency above them or below them or inside them that is watching them and anything they say or do. Okay? Everything's getting listened to and monitored. Okay, they might get lied to and say, "Oh, everything you are top, hush, hush. No one hears your phone calls. No one this and that, and everything like that. Everything gets listened and looked at." I don't know if we get time to look at space because basically we're going to look at there's an epidemic outbreak of, and let's go to it. And there's three of them, and it's up in the colder area. And the idea that we know that we've seen the temperatures around the world. If you don't believe me, go to IntelliCast and look at the temperatures. How the strangeness of our epidemic hazard: North America, State of Michigan, Northville. Effect is unknown. So. They got an epidemic hazard pretty much means that there's some kind of flu virus or something going around, okay? Because pretty much every one of these is going to say the same thing. You got it on, on Ontario also. And we know where this is where the big temperature change area is in the state of Connecticut, okay? And then we got earthquakes going on, but I'm pretty sure that it's nothing big. Uh, we do know that, uh, let me see what we got. Nevada's got one. It's a little small 1.1. So as far as looking at that, I just wanted to go down to RSOE, and we'll do, I guess I'll slow down a little bit here, and we'll see what we got going on for earthquakes. Okay, lower magnitudes right now. Now we've came off some highs a while ago. Okay, earlier in the morning, I guess. So, ooh, 7.0s in Indonesia. No one's talking about it. Papua New Guinea. So it's not coming up because look, I'm going to go to right here. 7.0 they got. So we have basically. This uh, is not really the most reliable in the world, I would not think of right now. Because we got a lot of not getting, uh, and we'll go to Indonesia. Indonesia's over here. So they got, okay, they're showing a 6.8. So once again, we got two ticks off. Okay. If this is even it, because this is north of Australia. Okay. It's not really Indonesia. I mean, somewhat. Okay. But whatever. Okay. So we have, and I got it updated. Okay, so the biggest thing I see is 6.8, and we got RSOE, which pretty much, when they call in, they just sh say what's on that mag magnometer. Okay, they don't wait for authorization. It's just, hey, this mag saying 7.0 for an earthquake, and that's four quakes in there at different times. So, someone gets the quakes, and they just call in, and they go bang, bang. It's banging at 9:35, 9:30, and as you see, the calls don't come in in order. So that's somewhat tr of truthness. Okay. And if you go to the details, they usually end up being different locations, too. So, 7.0 in Indonesia, south of Kea Fit, Papua New Guinea. So, let's go look at another detail map.
Okay, as I go back here, we're kind of starting to wonder since these are different times that they show the quakes and it all listed as the detail maps. It's wondering, we're starting to wonder if on the detail are they, because they all say 7.13 a.m. and one is south of K, and then the other one is southwest, and so whatever. It's so it's interesting to know whether they actually got the four quakes because the details are iffy because it's all the same detail sheet. And then we have uh, a list of four different times on the quakes. Okay, and we also, you, if you can go ahead and see whatever matches up on, uh, well there's the 16th to the 17th, and then you can go ahead and look at volcano activity, and let's see what we got for fast objects coming by today, and like I said, I was saying it was going to be interesting because of it. I'm just looking back. I don't even write this stuff down. I just go back and we got an object uh, going to be coming by tomorrow. We got an uh, uptick of a 7.0 down there today. So 18th and then like we know it was the day after the fast moving object. So the 19th, you know, and just about every day is pretty darn interesting anyway. Okay, so we've got that fast one there going through these faster ones again. And then we got that faster one there. And then... Uh, that with it so these faster ones are always very interesting for magnetics on earth and earthquakes so keep watching these earthquakes folks they're n i don't think they're going to stop clarifying that anytime soon okay like i say 2016 2019 we're gonna have a long ride folks now i realize i refresh but i've got the slider down just a little bit so we can zoom in on this quake here because we'll put the states on there and give it to you a list and we'll look at it Instead of trying to find it on the USGS list, here we go. Instead of looking at USGS list, and I believe it, yeah, that was Oklahoma. Okay, so there was a 3.9 quake in Oklahoma. And I'm not even going to waste time looking on the internet, but go check out 3.9 earthquake in uh, Oklahoma. Mentioned it on the talk group here the other day. So anyway, then I'll refresh. We'll go to the freshest. And there you go. So the idea that... We're over in Japan right now at the time, and you can always see my time over in the right-hand corner. And then we'll draw back and see on U.S. activity. But by the end of the day, now this is fresh. At the end of, end of the day, take a look at it and see what you get for activity. Okay? And then this, as we zoom out, will be no more than 72 hours. I'll tell you that for sure. This is no more than 72 hours worth of quakes. So let me zoom out, hopefully. Look at the world's worth of earthquakes, folks. Okay, and maybe what they've done now too is extended. They have because they've got the big old 8.2. So now with me saying and remarking that the idea that it's like only three to 72 hours worth of quakes, we are now getting presented uh, a longer list of quakes. Okay, I guess that must have affected some phone calls possibly somewhere in the world. Okay, because what they're doing now is they are making it look longer on the quakes but anyway it's good though because they see you, you see the 8.9 that basically was over in uh, Malaysia I believe in the Indian Ocean there between Sumatra and Malaysia once again 130 is uh, occupational hazard Okay, and then if you see a straight line like this, or if you see nothing at all, then you've got way too high of, you know what you're looking at. And if you don't know what you're looking at, go check it out. Welcome to Bakersfield, ladies and gentlemen. And then I'm just going to scan down real fast, show this data. I'm going to get through here as fast as I can, and you can freeze whatever you want. And we'll see how much we get through before 15 minutes is up on this video. And I'm just going to keep plunking through here because you can freeze on anything you want to look at. And this is an update on the graphs. And I guess that's it. I guess maybe they have less on there than they used to have. There must be less reporting on why waste the space if they're not reporting. So we'll go back up slow. Or maybe I went through hella fast. Anyway, you can freeze it. Always watch my videos on full screen. And remember, if they're blanking, they're blanking you. And 130 is an occupational hazard of CPM, better gross count of 